Hello everyone, so in my previous video we have started this virtual box for IT beginners, Active Directory and you know some tips in there. So when I was at 46th minute I basically uh, sh uh, kind of like showed you how to copy an image and then you know keep that image for future purpose. So today I'm going to talk about that. Uh, there are some better ways to do this but you know uh, we'll just do it whatever works for us okay so make sure you watch this video first if you want to learn about virtual box and then how do you make your own labs and IT skills learning because in that I kind of showed you how to take my other courses on website or maybe just a YouTube which is like 12 hours course you can take that and then implement everything inside the virtual box if you want to do that yourself now Going back to this, the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to basically go to the virtual box and kind of talk about what we have already. We have a domain controller, we have a server B right now. Now, let's say you were you have created domain controller and you have created server B, you have joined it to the domain. Now, at this point, it's kind of like you have done a lot to that machine. You don't want to take an image again because that's going to you know mess it up. So how do you go back to what we did in the first place at 46 minute in the first video? How would I, you know, grab a fresh image without me installing a brand new virtual box? So I'm, I'm going to show you that in a second right now. So first thing, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and basically uh, open up our uh, virtual box VM. And so this is what I did. So this is our server co server copy from here. Like I said, every time if you have to create a new brand new machine, you have to copy from here to a new folder. So I added a new folder and I call it demo and I copied this file from from here to there. So make sure you never mess with this. This is just for copying, right? You, you grab the file, you added a new folder and you just dropped it in there. So now what I want to do is I want to create a new server okay from that image so here you go we're going to do server c and we're going to click on windows is already there 2019 64-bit and then we're going to click next and let's give it a ram above eight something this, this i don't care about how much i'm putting i'm just putting more than eight and then i'm going to put a use existing virtual hard disk because that's what we want to do right we don't want to reinstall the whole operating system again because we already did that that skill you have learned it now of course you can learn in future from the courses learn some more tricks and everything but for now you know how to install operating system you want to now start a new machine from an image so here we're going to go back and we see that we don't have that new image right we're going to add that image from here and we're going to go to the vm demo remember i'm not using my original image i'm using the copied to the demo and then i'm going to double click here and you see i get this error now the problem with this is because that image that we have is holding the same id uuid and basically it won't work in virtualbox now in other virtualization like hyper v vmware usually this method works uh without you messing too much with uh, you know ids or anything but here you go is there any, any fix for this yes there's a fix for this i'm going to show you commands that you just need to copy paste and then things will work for you so you don't have to worry too much about what it is and all that kind of stuff just follow my direction and i think you should be good to go so the first thing you should do is to basically copy this address which i'm going to basically paste it in the description and i'm going to show you I am going to basically copy paste it right here. So what you're going to do, you're going to open your, your file explorer and then you're going to copy paste that. And then you're going to see this, that it's going to be inside the virtual box is going to be installed in your C program files, Oracle virtual box. Now, if in the beginning you have changed your path, maybe D drive, E drive, or you changed it in the beginning when you were installing the virtual box, then you need to use that path because your installation, wherever your virtual box is installed, that's where it matters okay so you just need to grab that and then what you need to do is a copy and then what you need to do is this you basically need to go to CMD and right click go to run as administrator and basically open this as an administrator so now what you need to do is to you need to type in CD and then with the CD you just need to type this as you can see when I did the CD, I just copy pasted the path where your virtual box is installed and now the path is basically 
telling us what's next. I need a command for you, for you to, imp uh, what do I, what do I do next? So this cop, I'm going to copy paste this command too. I'm going to put it in the description. All you got to do is to basically do this part right here. So here we're going to basically do this. I'm just going to copy paste. So that's basically the command that basically changes an ID, UUID basically. And then you're going to use a quotation. And now this is an important piece right here. You're going to basically go back to wherever your uh, virtual box is installed. Sorry, wherever your new uh, uh, file is. So VDI file is basically in the demo. This is the one that I'm trying to pick inside that virtual box. Now, remember, I'm talking about this. This may take so it, may, it seems like it's a long process, but when you do it one time, it's very quick, right? So just do keep that in consideration. So now, as you can see, this is basically the path, but the full uh, you know, uh, the path for this uh, with this file is basically with server 2019 VDI. So if I come over here and I go back to the CMD in the quotation, I need to copy paste and then I'm going to type server 2019.vdi. That, that would be the full complete path with the file. Okay, and I'm going to click enter and you say you see that it says that UUID changed to this new ID you don't need this ID it's changed done we're, we're, we're good we're good to go now now I'm gonna if I if I come back over here see I didn't it didn't picked it right and I'm gonna go back to add and then I'm gonna go back to virtual VM demo and then I'm gonna click on it and you see now I can choose it click on create and boom you go there you go you got you got your image ready in there but here's a trick now now you are you gonna keep doing this again and again I'm sure if we would have done this in the beginning Maybe we, we wouldn't have to do this again, but let's say you, you got the image now, it's ready. This is my suggestion to you. Right click on here and click on clone. And once you clone it, then basically click on next. And, that, and you, can, you can change the name, by the way, if you want to click on server D. I'm just going to click on next here. And then here I'm going to do uh, uh, create a full clone. So right now it's creating a full clone of that image, which is pretty cool because I'm going to show you that next time you don't have to do this whole UUID and everything. In the beginning, if you had the image ready, you could have done this process right from the starting point. I should have actually showed that in the beginning of my video, in, in my last video. But let's say you did it. I mean, the same mistake happened, right? And how do you do it? You're going to redo everything again? You're going to keep redoing your installation? No, there's a fix for it. All you got to do is to research, right? And I just showed you these two commands. I think that should be enough for you to kind of fix this problem that if you wanted to create a new machines from your image you got stuck while you were too ahead in the the two machines that right these two machines you were too ahead you couldn't make an, another image you had to reinstall everything again so that's where i'm saving the time for you so here's a here's the thing would you want to keep the server c because i would like to do the same process that i did in the kind of like a, on a manual side i'm just going to rename this so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to settings and i'm going to change this copy from here you know, it makes it super simple right now. Right now, um, this means that I am not going to use that file, that VHD file in this virtual box. So this means I don't have to do all that command line stuff. So if you created the first image, right from the first image, let's say you created, the, remove all these three machines and you said this is your first machine. You could have tip, you could have done the sys prep. Go back to my first video if you don't, if you don't know what I'm talking about. You did the, you did the sys prep. The, the machine went to shutdown mode and then rename it to copy from here. Every time you want to make new machines, now you can make another machine from here. I'm gonna just do clone again and I'm gonna call it server E, and I shouldn't have any issues. There you go, and now it's cloning server E. So in one in few minutes. I showed you how you could come back from the mistake to now super easy method that you don't have to go back and do that again. Keep that image with you again, just in case you mess up your virtual boss can crash. Uh, virtual boss can do a lot of problems uh, in the future. This is software, right? I mean, it can, it can crash. It can the, the the images can get messed up while it's running in here. Um, then you have that one manual image inside your f file explorer that you can always come and bring it back again and do this process again to make your life super easy when you're dealing with virtualization. So when this is over, I'm just gonna show you that I'm gonna spin up these two new machines that I just created. I'm just gonna spin it up and then I'll have fresh images ready for me to rename them, use them in the future for more learning. I mean, and where do you learn? You go back to jobsclashare.org, 
you start with the fundamental v1.0 course you start taking the labs if you want to invest invest in the premium labs those are just kind of virtual box in on the web basically it's like that and but it has more it's more powerful it's more learning and more task oriented you have uh, server switches and everything so here you go i'm going to turn on this machine just to show that hey both of my images should work now okay i'm going to turn that on and i'm going to turn the second on this may take a little time so i'm going to pause my video so there you go i got the server e running and i got the server d running there you go okay so i got two machines running of course i am i have a machine that has 32 gb ram in there um again i could have run more in there but even with the 32 gb ram when it's a just a simple laptop with i7 uh you know processors and stuff like that it's still gonna you're still not gonna have that kind of experience where i, I always tell people that if you want to invest then please invest on a server like buy a cheap server but buy a server with more cores more ram it's gonna make your life so easy if you don't want to do that then then this is your options right here minimum i think you should definitely be around 16 gb ram uh 250 minimum space you're going to run out very quickly if you're going to doing if you're going to learn about multiple different things in, in it on a virtual box so you're going to run out of that space um cpu at some point is going to start giving you problems but cpu is not going to be a bottleneck it's going to be always ram in space so as you can see we have two machines running from the same image we changed it we fixed the issue and now i can just keep creating more i can i can come over here and i can create machines on the fly right now just by cloning them from here because i fixed my issue so that's how you kind of like work on in a virtual box to make your life easy but this is going to come up and after that of course it's going to ask me for username and password uh initial configuration of this server just putting the basic stuff in there and then i'll have almost five or six machines running in one domain connected environment and i can run a lot of services from a server and i can run another uh secondary domain controller i can do read-only domain controller I, if i want to learn more advanced stuff i can do that uh, if you convert this into more of Linux side of it, you can do that. You can do whatever you want to think of. You know, you can you can come across uh, you know different type of uh, learnings out here. So you see that one is saying device is ready, another one is starting the services. If this is small, then make sure you just go to the virtual screen, and make it like 200%. You see that I'm gonna go ahead and because my laptop does have a pretty high resolution, so I'm gonna go to view, and make this one 200 right there anyways I think this is good enough after this you know I mean we did this in the first video you fix it you just go in there in the sorry you just kind of configure it and after that you just join it to your domain whatever you want to do with it okay thank you for watching this video I hope this is another good video for you to expand and make your life easy by watching this video what do you think about this video do you have any other suggestions that I can follow that I will definitely try it um, like I said, this is done. After that, it's going to be just starting a new brand new servers and everything should be good. Thank you.